Hey everybody! Happy Tuesday! Oh man! How is everybody doing? Um, this is the 18th Persona 4 Golden live stream, and we've still got a bit of a way to go. So I hope you guys are excited. I think. We'll see some interesting story developments this stream. I don't know if we'll get to a dungeon. I don't think that that's going to happen. But I might be wrong. Maybe we'll get to one by the end. I'm not... Everything from this point on is kind of fuzzy to me, so... Um, can you guys hear me okay? Is the audio alright? I wish I didn't have to ask that <laughs> every time. But, um... Seems like I... I I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid about screwing it up. Because there's like a week in between the streams and... Curious. Hey, everybody who just came in. Good, 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 good. Okay, so this stream almost didn't happen because my capture card's been screwing up. <sighs> Thankfully, it, it decided to work. It, it it's gotten to the point where it works when it wants to, which is very inconvenient considering I'm streaming and let's playing a game that both require the capture card. Anyway, uh, so from what I remember last week. We had something that starts tomorrow, I think? I'm not sure what. I think Naoto's back into the investigation. Okay, well, we're not ready to advance yet, Nanako. Sorry. I'm gonna go check what's going on on the outside, and instead I clicked my room, so. Did not mean to do that. Let's go to the shopping district. Dachi, you want to hang out? Oh. Hey, it's you. Great. A student who parties at night. <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm so exhausted from work. I had to talk to that old lady again. I'm hungry. Adachi doesn't seem to have eaten dinner yet. Yeah, let's do it. Let's invite Adachi to dinner. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'm a yeah. gracious host. I guess we talked about that the other day. Um, yeah, why not? I hear you're quite the cook. Who'd you hear that from? They lied to you. Big bro. The potatoes are still hard. Today we're having shoe. Shoe? Oh, you mean stew? Yeah, shoe. Stew! Hey, you did it! Do you like stew, Adachi-san? Hmm, yeah, kind of. Kind of? Uh. I mean, yeah, I do like it. It's been a while since I had some. So do you cook like this all the time? I bet Dojima-san tells you all the time what a great help you are. You would be wrong. I don't know how to answer this. I don't want to just throw him under the bus. It's really, it's really none of your business. I really, like, if this was me, I just wouldn't say anything. Okay, sure. Really? He doesn't seem like the type to come out and say it. Well, you're the one who brought it up, Adachi. Wow. Okay. So I heard you were moving back in the spring. I bet Ojima-san is gonna cry. Nanako's looking down sadly. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's still a long way away. <laughs> yeah. Um. I gotta move my microphone again. Sorry, guys. I try to get this all set up beforehand. Sometimes it just doesn't doesn't pan out. Hey, Nanako, have you ever seen this trick? Adachi produced a 500 yen coin. Now watch closely. Adachi clutches the 500 yen coin. You watching? The 500 yen coin disappeared! What? How? Why? Again! Do it again! Nah, this time I'll show you an even better one. Look in your big bro's pocket. The 500 yen coin was in your pocket. 
Wow, you're the best, Adachi-san. That was a surprise. No, these are both boring. I'll just say that was a surprise. <laughs> I'm pretty good with my hands, so it comes easy to me. Okay. It's easy for me. Adachi seems relieved that Nanako is smiling again. Maybe I should have been a magician. Ugh. Then I wouldn't be in such a... Uh, well... I guess there's no job like a government job. It's not like I can make a living working with my hands. Adachi shrugs. I feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Rank 4. We don't know him that well at all. Rank 4 is pathetic. That's terrible. That's smelling pretty good. I think the shoe's about ready. It's stew. Shiatsu? Shoe. Wrong. No, I said it right. The three of you spent a fun evening together. Good. That was a hilarious bit of comedy between them. They're quite good together. Excuse me. Do you have time after school today? Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? You mean a vet? The normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. We should see if the fog over there, or the power we've gained, have had any negative effects on our health. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Negative effects? D don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. Seriously, kid. But, yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Of course. I thought they were included in the, in the group. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. Well, I'll see you all after school. Alright, glum chum. See you later. You'll be going to the hospital after school at Naoto's recommendation. I see. No choice in the matter. We'll see what they say. Everyone underwent a thorough physical at the hospital Naoto recommended. That was just an ordinary checkup. Huh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. I'm very sorry for the wait. I'm very sorry for the wait. So did they find out anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. Surprise! I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Oh my, what should I do? They took a look at everything inside me. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality. Great job, Yosuke. You're quite the detective. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona? and shadow are common psychological terms. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. 
This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Hmm. Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Oh, I never thought about it that way. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. What? What is it? Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exam. That is a break of uh, doctor-patient confidentiality, Teddy. And I believe it's a crime. What? No, you won't! Give him to me now! Ooh! First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? The shortest legs division? Look, if you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girls' measurements. Typical. What? Are you a complete nutter moron? I can answer that for you, Chie. Yes, he is. Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Which is kind of creepy considering you're 15, but... Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. Of course. No! Don't say mine! Aw, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. This is awkward. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, Naoto-kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto-kun's is... Huh? Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Uh, anyways, the important oh, thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. I'm going to go shred them. Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. Yeah. Anyways. After all that, they found out mm. nothing about me. Ooh, time to social link. Uh, I what I really am. Rank up with Teddy. I'm excited. There's always next time. We'll find out together. Yeah. Thanks, Sensei. Sure. Of course. Teddy is gazing at you with gratitude in his eyes. Rank six. Okay. Good. Good. I wasn't sure. Oh, what'd you learn? What'd you learn? Maracunda. Wait, is that just... Oh. Ah. Uh... Hmm. It's it's a good ability. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to get rid of. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Kanji has that one as well, though, right? It's basically the same thing. But this one's better, in my opinion. Gonna... Ooh. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think so. I don't want to get rid of his, uh... His heal. He's got two good healing abilities. Got revive. You know, single ice, single physical. I went through this last, last uh... Stream too. I think, I think I want... Yes. I want Maracunda. Thank you. Hey! If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind! Okay. Welcome back.
Thank you, Dojima. The midterms start next Friday. Ooh. I can work as a janitor, or I can study. Sup, Dojima. Hey. Aw, uh, won't become closer yet. Fine. Fine, I'm gonna go study. Screw you guys. Um, yeah. My knowledge isn't maxed yet. So, I need to, I need to get on it. Still haven't leveled up. Wow. Well, we can uh, use it during the day to uh, up our social links, right? Right, 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 right. Or after school. Good morning, senpai. Exams start next Friday, but I'm just not in the mood for schoolwork. The true killer is someone else. We're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will grind to a halt. Tests are important, too. I can't study either. That isn't good. If your grades drop, Dojima-san may suspect that something is going on. Please, do your best on the tests for the sake of the case. Anyway, we can only wait for the culprit to make his move. I don't like this passive mentality that we gotta wait. But whatever. We must not forget to check the Midnight Channel, too. This is a crucial moment. I agree. Good morning, everyone! Guess what? We're going to have exams at the end of next week. I hope that nobody in here is being an ostrich and goofing around without doing any studying. An ostrich? Why did I say ostrich? Because it's a common metaphor for someone who avoids inconvenient truths. Oh, right. Sticking your head in the sand. It comes from the common mistaken belief that ostriches bury their heads in the sand in the face of oncoming danger. It's like it, it's like it can hear me. To feel safe just because you can't see the problem. A sure sign of escaping from reality. Don't be like a fake ostrich. There's another kind of bird, though, that has a cowardly connotation in English. Chicken. Lay it on me, crit. It's, uh, it's chicken. Be brave. Tell me what bird's name means coward in English. This might be difficult for, I guess, Japanese players? I wouldn't expect them to know this. I wouldn't know, you know, if there was a word in Japanese that, that did the same thing, so. That is correct. Thank you. There are many theories as to why. You know how you get goosebumps when you're scared, right? It looks like a de-feathered chicken skin. Wait, then why are they called goosebumps and not chicken bumps? Great, something for me to Google later. It doesn't matter. The point is, you need to face reality and boldly prepare for your test next week. You gave the correct answer. Knowledge has increased again. Well, good. Good, good, good. Happy. Whoa! It's freezing! And it's October! Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? And you're wearing a sleeveless shirt! Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Seriously! I was busy handing out flyers at Juness! Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate! Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? Right, the thing that no one's mentioned until now? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies? So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So what's the big deal about that being cancelled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! Is that really it? It's not a joke. The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. Oh. I'm sorry. 
This is my fault. Nah, no, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. <laughs> okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Rishi-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? Oh my gosh. Sounds like she's saying Konami. Ugh. So there's no way? I mean, what is it with Persona streams and me getting an eyelash in my eye? It happened last week, too. Where is it? Oh well. Is it really that bad? I keep swiping at it, and I just keep coming up empty-fingered. Can't find it. Oh my god. I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. Hmm. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I going to do if that happens? I guess transfer schools. No one will miss you, Yosuke. Singing and handshakes only. <gasps> No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. What? what? Wait! I know Idol! It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an Idol. It would be troublesome, huh? Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? Mm. I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Whoa, whoa! There's no way we can pull off something like that! I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. Never really played it, though. Hmm. Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. Oh, my God. You sound like so many people I know who have instruments and don't play them. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Some kind of instrument? Oh boy. That's true. Then it's decided. What? I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. We can recruit Ayane too. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? Hell, I've been in band all, all year. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. What? Okay. So, what are we going to do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? The gong? It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. What? <sighs> um, I don't think that's going to really matter in this case. You guys are not going to be able to make pop music with this. Isn't Risei a pop singer? Pop performer, whatever? Yosuke, try holding these! Wait, all you need are some synths. That's all you need. This is a disaster. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. All right, persona. Wait, I can't summon it here. <laughs> what an idiot. I'll choose this then. A tambourine. <laughs> look, look, isn't this like my fan? Yeah. I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the Seriously. end. Seriously. 
come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Uh, wait, wait, me? Can I take the bass? Well, the bass is pretty easy. Eh, if you know how to play guitar, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. Don't underestimate me. Fuck you, Yosuke. Damn, maybe you're gonna show me how to play. I'm gonna trust you. Just mimic what the guitar is playing. Well, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. So, fun fact, I actually have played on stage a few times, but every time I played bass. Because <laughs> there were just there were too many freaking guitar players that I knew. So somebody had to. Oh well. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. Hmm. How does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah, I could see Kanji as a drummer. <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby. I'll lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Nice expression. Wow. Uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me? You can be dancers. I don't know. You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see. What looks easy? I don't know. Are you going to do the triangle? What looks easy? You pick the trumpet? Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? I mean, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. It's not doing anything. It's because you don't know how to play it! It's not easy! Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. Oh my god! That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. Man. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Oh yeah, I don't know how to read me. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a disaster. I guess I'm gonna have to transfer schools after all. This kind of reminds me of some bands that I tried to form with some of my friends when I was younger. And we eventually figured out that no one knew how to play anything. And no one knew how to read music or write lyrics or anything. And it was just a big flop. I was in some other bands that were that were okay though. But just when I was younger, that's what they were all like. You all practice on your own until it gets dark. You decide to meet again tomorrow. Are we gonna be doing this band shit all week? Wow. Welcome back. Thanks, Na Nanako. You want you wanna hang out? Or Maybe I should go study. Let's go. Let's go study. Yes, I want max knowledge. So. Come on, that was three. I got three points. Come on. Brother. Once more from the top. One, two, three, four. No. That wasn't me, I think. You know, for 24 hours of practice, when no one knew how to play anything, basically, except for maybe Yosuke and Naoto, that was, that was not bad. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. Shut up, Teddy. A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's sound. You get it? Teddy is such a theater major. <laughs> oh, I get it. That means Teddy did it. 
doesn't it? <laughs> huh? That reaction overturned my expectations. <laughs> Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. Nice follow-up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. Oh my god, why are you wearing the bear suit? You're not at Juness. I just realized. Let's just ignore this bear. Oh gosh. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. There's just not enough time. That's true. That is one of the problems. Um, but we can't say that. It really might be impossible. Show some spirit! You really get into that do or die spirit sometimes. But that seems fitting for him. Oh, th thanks, Rise. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up. That's now. right, Kanji. You're my favorite for a reason. A real brawl doesn't begin until you've got your back to a wall. Yeah. We're here to start a band, not a fight club. All right, Yosuke. I'll do it too. Good. It's not just about Yosuke now. Mm -hmm. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. That's it. Self-motivation. That's what you need. Don't worry, Yosuke Senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. What is Yukiko doing? I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what. And they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team boost. Oh, speech. shut up, Yosuke. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? <laughs> Kanji and John's speeches were shit. Reese's was great, though. All right, let's do this. Whatever. I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all. <laughs> Your first notes out of a saxophone would not sound like that. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's try putting your music together, and I'll sing along. I know, I know. I gotta suspend disbelief and. You know, all that stuff, because it's a video game, but it just bothers me. <laughs> Whoa, well, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying, and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Okay. Here goes. One, two, three, four. What? 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 You wanna hide, you wanna come out going round That didn't that sound pretty good? That sounded amazing for 48 hours. 24 hours really. <gasps> that was actual music! Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. Where did the lyrics come from? How did you all get coordinated? So you learn. Wait, you. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits! Hell no. We've already been on a TV show. A midnight one. Way to bring the mood down. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. C come on, everyone. Let's cheer up, okay? And you. You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine. <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? I've never heard that phrase. I'm gonna play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. That sings about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad-lib. Do you understand me? We're doing this 
exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Just like we practiced. Got it? Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. Oh my god, everyone's hard work is slowly taking shape. Yeah, with a pinch of magic, apparently, and some pixie dust in there. That was insane! Like, the day before, none of them knew how to play their instruments! Now they can- now they not only know how to play them, but they can carry a melody, they can carry a tune, and they can play together and not get off rhythm. And they- apparently they wrote lyrics! They wrote like- they wrote the music too! I'm so confused! Was that already like a Rise song or...? I'm just- I'm so... I'm so annoyed. <laughs> okay, no, but um... Do I have a, a calendar in here? Hey. I mean, I would like to spend time with Ojima, but... Night. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not gonna buy anything from the home shopping program. I'm broke. Do you wanna study? Thank you. Max my knowledge, please. How are we so far away? <laughs> What, now we're playing? Crap, the crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Uh, our costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. Well, it's October, so... What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer will work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer! Oh, brother. You, you shut your stupid bear trap! I don't need to hear this! You've been on TV before, right, now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? Uh, I don't know. Speaking of interviews, I think... I think being interviewed is a lot easier than doing the interview. <laughs> been on both sides of the microphone. Um, I'm fine. Screaming on the inside. Wake me up. Can't wake up. I'm I'm fine. You really are something. Thank you. What is Teddy? Teddy's, Teddy's still doing that stuff over there. That weird stuff. Stop it. Oh, okay. Now that's our sensei. He's got big brass balls. And when I say balls, I mean. We get it. We get it. It's a figure of speech. We don't care. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? Who was that? Well, did someone just... Were they there the whole time? Someone, can you gather around for a second? Hmm. Yeah, got it. Huh. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Mm. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Rise, John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full-blown, one-time-only performance. Now who's ready? Let's not hype it up too much, okay? You're a bunch of high schoolers that don't know how to play your musical instruments. So, okay, let's just, let's just go. Wow, full house over here. It's packed. Now listen up. We 
We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Oh, this is the side stage. Like this is this is backstage, rather. Here goes. This is so anime. Oh, whoa, whoa, what? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a beer. I can't take this. I can't do it. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. They want an encore? What? They're asking for an encore. Oh my god. They're insane. Oh yeah, I, I didn't think about that. Encore! Encore! We only know one song! What do we do now? There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Risa explain <clears throat> our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. Mm, wow. Well. I saw that guy before. I'm getting fired up! Hey, Teddy? Hey, he's going all Super Saiyan on them. Dive into the crowd. What? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation. Stage dive? <laughs> hey, don't sound so excited. Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Then what are we gonna do? Do we have any other way out? How come they didn't plan for this? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Uh, all right, I'll show you what it means to be a man. Hey, wait, you idiot! Wow. They just dodged out of the way. How? I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. Oh, man. You and your friends have become legends among your peers. Enough people have gathered at Juness that you consider this mission accomplished. At least, so you tell yourself. Right. Wow. Wow. You're back. It's like, it's like when, um, well, what's her name? Hanako, uh, sat on the bike or whatever. Like, it, or like the beach trip. Like, every once in a while, they just throw in a, like, a meaningless little, little bit, you know? With the jokes. Okay. Feel like going out and celebrating. If there's if there's even anyone here. Might not be. Oh no, there's no one here. Everyone's studying. Fine then. You know what? Go home and study myself. <sighs> okay. There we go. Alright, no one wants to hang out? Fine. Who needs you, Dojima? Who needs you, Nanako? I don't mean that, Nanako. Okay. Yes, study please. Thanks. Hmm. 
Max? No, of course not. Morning, John Coon. Man, that was exhausting yesterday. It was my first time being up on stage like that. Reese had to do stuff like that all the time when she was working, right? I'd never be able to live like that. And this week, we've got midterms. <sighs> oh, hey, we should have a study session with everybody else after school. We're all in the same boat, right? Let's help each other out. I don't need any help. Let's, let's help each other, yeah. That's right, help each other. Okay, so what if I'm more on the being helped side than the helping others side? Come on, help those who are of those who, uh, those of us who are academically challenged. I'll invite everyone, please. Uh, my dog's in the corner. She's been hanging out in here all day. Weirdo. Anyway, um. Now, please take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had these made. John, would you stand up, please? Had these made? What did Napoleon have invented? Cans, glass jars, dictionaries, brandy. Glass jars? Ho ho ho! You knew well! That's right, he made people invent glass jars. Napoleon held a contest with lots of reward money to whoever could come up with a way to preserve food on long campaigns. I figured cans was too obvious. Nicholas Appert submitted his method for canning food in 1804, paving the way for the food preservation industry. It's a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved with the actual mention of metal cans. The first canned foods were kept in glass jars. Tin or iron cans were invented in 1810 as an alternative to heavier jars. An actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. Before the invention of the can opener, soldiers would use bayonets to cut open cans or smash them with rocks. Wow. <laughs> that sounds impractical. I guess that invention was ahead of its time. So, midterm start at the end of the week. Don't forget to review, of course. Max knowledge, of course. Not yet. Not yet. I want to max my knowledge, though. Wow. Hi, Nanako-chan. Hi, Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Ha wow, Hi. Everyone's here. <laughs> Kanji, awkward. So many people. Why did everyone come here? We're all gonna study. Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh, that's easy stuff. Oh, jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two right, sides. Right, yeah, sine, cosine, tangent. Huh? You find the area of a triangle with. You know, that thing. Um. Base by height by two. If you don't mind, <laughs> shall I teach you? I'm sorry, I cut her off. Are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand, too? Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. What? Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Yosuke! You son of a bitch! You're terrible! Don't call me useless! <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto Ku riled up. Yosuke is really just a troll. He's a troll. That's all he is. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What the fuck? Now you're hitting on her? What? What are you talking about? That's it. I quit. This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Kanji's got his priorities. I like it. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. Uh, forget it. I can't think. <laughs> I 
Okay. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the library. Oh my but God. I still can't find anything about me. Even when you're serious, you just can't help but slip one in. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. She talks like such an anime character. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. <laughs> oh, that's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this! I was... I was wondering when someone was going to wise up to that. I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Oh, man. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king! That's right, I Nanako. The story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of the bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape! <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone. <laughs> Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. Oh no. There were all these other kings too, and we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan? Everyone left their seats to go buy drinks with Nanako. Am I really a king? Are we gonna rank up again, Teddy? We just ranked up. Are we gonna rank you up to seven? Wow. Maybe so. <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day. Hey, smirking. I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. Uh huh. Wow. That was that was very. That was a rapid fire rank up. Man! Gonna fuse some star personas. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, ooh! He can endure a mortal blow during battle. Awesome. Big bro! Teddy! Is Melon Soda okay? That sounds delicious. That sounds, that sounds great. Hang on, guys. I'm getting a uh, I'm getting a phone call. Sorry.
Alright, sorry about that. Sorry. Uh. Sorry about that. <sighs> something, something came up. Anyway. Um. What, you want to hang out? We're gonna hang out anyway. What, what rank are we? Eight? Eh. We can, no, I don't want to see all this. Bye. You don't need to tell me every persona under the arcana. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's spend time. We we've done enough studying, I think. Yeah. That's right. <sighs> Got some points. Scored some points there with Nanako. Yo. Lately. Whenever we're over there, I've been wondering, does it feel like you've seen those shadows before? I mean, we fought robots and stuff that look like they're right out of some anime, right? Doesn't that bother you? Now that you mention it, not interested, brother. Remember how our other selves had those logos like a TV show? Maybe it was like that for the same reason as to why the shadows look like something from the TV. Teddy said before that the other world is related to our minds somehow. People who watch the Midnight Channel believe it's a TV show, and we treat that world as something inside the TV. Whoa, she's getting into some deep uh, thematic territory here. Good job, Chie. Knew I picked you first for a reason, so maybe that's why. Or is it simply because all of us have had our brains soaked in television since we were kids? Hmm, I guess I can't really deny that. I can't help watching Hong Kong action movies whenever they're on TV. Hmm. Food for thought. Thank you, Chie. Oh god, this girl. It's so tiring coming up with stuff for the exams. All I want to do is go home and see how my stocks are doing. By the way, Halloween's at the end of this month. I'm sure you've forgotten what with tests and festivals and all. Speaking of Halloween, the first jack-o'-lanterns weren't made out of pumpkins. Hmm, Satanaka-san, I'll pick you, since you don't seem to care about veggies. <laughs> nah, I'll choose crit -coon. Wow, I sound like Filthy Frank. Do you know what vegetable was used to make the first jack-o'-lanterns? Um, okay, okay. <laughs> I really think it was pumpkins? Wait, watermelons are fruits. Right? Watermelons are vegetables? I'm gonna say eggplants. I have no fucking idea though. The first ones were made out of turnips or beets. Those are tiny. When that tradition was carried into the US, they started using pumpkins because they were plentiful and easier to carve. While they're on <laughs> while we're on the subject, I'm hoping that my stocks will turnip. No? Fine. Puns weren't my style anyway. You gave the incorrect answer. Rip John's vocal cords? It doesn't hurt at all. I can do it the entire stream if you want. It's really not a big deal. Doing this type of voice doesn't hurt my throat at all, honestly. I get asked that question all the time. But no, it really doesn't bother me. I could even do it in this voice for the entire stream if you want. It, it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I have lost my voice before, but it's after it's it's due to volume. Wait, what the fuck are you doing in here? Oh, you're the, you're the principal. <laughs> Who is this old man with the beard? Oh, Crit Coon, isn't it? I remember your name since you're a transfer student. Would you mind talking with me for a moment? I'll listen. Young people often say they dislike the countryside, but if you ask me, I'd say that they just don't have any hobbies. <laughs> Sick burn, dude. This I like this guy. If they had hobbies, then they wouldn't be bored, even here in the country. I've been here ever since I was very small, but I've never been bored. That's because I have a collection. 
What sort of collection, you ask? Tanks. Collecting tank-related items. I just can't get enough of them. Gun barrels, caterpillar tread. Foo! After becoming principal here, I've been able to devote my time and money to expanding my collection, but training shell. That is the one thing I have been unable to acquire. If I were able to get a hold of it, I would be willing to give you a reward money can't buy. I'm sure it's not really that interesting, but... Uh, I'll just gotta find one for you, I guess. Okay, nobody wants to hang out, really. Uh. Yeah, I don't know where he's keeping his tank-related items. Very odd. Hi. Senpai. There's something to ask you, man to man. Can you tutor me? Let's study together. Yeah. Come on, let's study together, Kanji. We need to get our social link up anyway, so this is killing two birds with one stone right here. Come on, let's do this. Uh, I get nervous in libraries. If I got a squeeze, oh, if I got a squeeze, if I got a sneeze, should I hold it in? Well, anyways, let's go over uh, everything. By teaching Kanji, you're able to review the material for yourself. Knowledge has greatly increased. You bond it with your study partner by studying together. Hey. Gonna become closer soon, huh? Keep that in mind. Welcome. If only I could study with Nanako. Ooh, you went shopping? Not ready, huh? Damn. Well, she is rank 8, so it takes a while. Should I waste time with this? Let's save. Fifty hours, guys! I've spent fifty hours of my life on this playthrough. That's two full days. Okay, let's just try. Let's just try to do it. It's it's good for, for social points. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make croquettes. You decide to make croquettes. You put flour, egg, then panko on the ingredients, and how hot should the oil be? Medium sounds safe. It's almost done frying. Obtained moist croquette. Is that good? I assume that's good, because usually, if it's bad, he just throws it out. Oh no. Ugh, midterms start tomorrow. But I feel so late. They start tomorrow. They start on a Friday? I can't believe you're so hardcore about studying for the exam, senpai. Are you sure you're gonna need to know all this stuff in the future? Well, you probably won't. By the way, would you not say the word lazy around me, especially this early in the morning? Whatever. After exams, we have the Culture Festival. There are more first-year students this year, so the festival could be more fun than it was last year. That's very fascinating. Thank you! I'm glad I overheard that conversation. I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't heard about the festival. I do wish to eat with someone. I do. Um... Probably Risei, TBH, Naoki, I, Daisuke, no. Okay, hmm, hmm, hmm. Who's more, who's most relevant? I think, I think Risei because we want her leveled up. We need, we need to like keep leveling her up. We need a power level Risei. So that we can get all of her, you know, uh, scanning abilities or whatever. So yeah, let's eat lunch with her. Oh no! Oh well, it, <laughs> it didn't 
wasted, no wasted time. Except for the night that I spent making lunch. Damn. So there's a teacher here who tried to put a problem on the test involving a student's bust waist hip measurements. What? I won't say who, but isn't that just wrong? I mean, who cares about a high school girl's measurements? It would have been much more interesting if they were mine, huh? Jesus Christ. But man, middle-aged dudes are so perverted. I can feel them looking at me in the faculty lounge. Hee <laughs> hee. You would be straight up fired in America. I'm just saying. By the way, speaking of middle-aged men, there's a cute little fish called the Ojisan. Isn't that a cute name? Too bad there's no fish called the Obasan. I guess it's because no matter how old we get, women are still women. What? Oh, John Kuhn, were you listening to what I just said? What kind of fish was I just talking about? You were you're talking about the Obasan. No, you're talking about the Ojisan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you were listening to me. It's actually named the goat fish, but it's commonly called the Ojisan. It's called that because it has whiskers and it looks like a middle-aged man. I want you to remember that, so I'll be putting it on the test that starts tomorrow. What? My knowledge is increased. Okay. All right then. I must wait until the criminal takes action. Screw you. All right. Who wants to? Who wants to study? Should probably study with Yukiko because I want to get her. She's only level nine, only, only level nine. But uh, if we get her to ten, we can get some nice benefits. Oh, ow, oh, hi, hi. I feel kind of embarrassed. Do you want to go somewhere? What? Why do you? What do you mean? I wanted to study, but okay, sure. Yes. It's not ready to advance yet anyway. Whatever. We can waste some time. Good. We're almost ready to max Yukiko. Sweet. Welcome back. Okay. No, but seriously, we need to need to go study. Shouldn't have last night instead of making the moist croquette. Yeah. Still not max, huh? Really? Interesting. Your second term midterms begin today and continue until next Thursday. It's so weird. So weird. I don't understand that. All right, let's see if we can get these questions correct, because that's more important than our knowledge stat anyway. Mm -hmm. Hey, morning, Chie. I just went out with my other girlfriend. I mean, Yukiko yesterday. Hey, how much studying did you get done after we met up? Actually, have you studied at all? Of course. I see. Of course you would. Wait, I remember asking you the same thing the last time we had exams. Crap. Could it be? Am I really that hopeless right now? C come on, Chie. Keep it together, girl. Yeah. Self-motivation again. She is very self-motivated. It's a positive trait. Midterms. Okay. Which part of the body contains the Adam's apple? That would be the throat. Boom. I did it correctly. Where would you find Japan? On the right edge. Oh shoot! Got it! So happy. I aced I aced Friday. Did it. Crap! I forget! How short was history's shortest war? Alright, chat, I'm gonna need help. I rarely ask for help. I usually am too proud and I just wanna do it on my own, but
40 minutes? I thought I said 40 minutes last time and it was wrong. Oh, good job, chat. Thank you. Venison is the meat of what animal? It's all the above. Boom. See, I, I could have sworn I said 40 minutes last time, but I guess I was like, it's probably, like, I think it's 40 minutes, so I'm going to say 40 hours. I think it was one of those things where I psych myself out. Fuck you! We've got four more days of exams. Sure. Oh, yeah. I didn't make plans. Study group. I mean, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> it's getting to be a custom for us to meet up like this. But that aside, can I borrow your notes? <laughs> Borrowing notes is getting to be a custom too. <laughs> All right, let's get started. But first, I want a melon soda. They really like their melon soda. Is that your way of saying you'll lend me your notes if I buy you a melon soda? Could be. <laughs> He's very soft. Yosuke-san and Chie-san seem to get along well. Why don't you two date? She's already dating me! Never. Hey, you- That was quick. <laughs> You too, Naoto-kun. You could go out with Kanji. Huh? Please, stop it. <laughs> Aw, how cute. Hey, senpai, wouldn't Kanji and Naoto-kun make a good couple? Yeah. Senpai. Come now, John Senpai. That's enough, guys. Let's get back to studying. I promise this to be an entertaining day. Good. Okay, so we got Yosuke, Chie, Yukiko, Risei, who was already there. And we don't have a social link with Naoto-kun yet. Uh, you make any progress with your studies? What was the, what was the point? That's the whole reason I did that. The whole reason I did that was... Welcome back. Shut up. I just wasted my time. Good. Max out that knowledge. Max it. Yes, I maxed it. I am now sage. Well, my knowledge has increased. Well, who cares? Well, who cares at this point? It was a waste. It was a waste. I shouldn't have made the moist croquette. I should have just studied that night. Ah. <sighs> What's the Japanese name for panda? Well, I don't remember this one. Chad, help. <laughs> Chad, I need you. Okay, so obviously there's um there's some delay. So it seems like black and white bears is too obvious. Tabby bears, I think, is flat out wrong. Is it monochrome bears? Is it? It's it's really black and white bears. I know I do sound like Craven, constantly asking chat. I'm not asking chat to look it up. I'm asking you what you think. There's a difference. I can't act like Craven if you want. Hey, uh, uh, chat, uh, like, look this up for me, uh. White and black bears, okay. Which bird is falsely known for being cowardly in the English phrase to stick one's head in the sand? Oh, an ostrich. All right, Kashiwagi. You didn't put that answer on the test that you said you would, by the way. What was the name of the Wasan textbook that came out in the Edo period? How the fuck would I know this? Math girl? Why? I don't know. I'm crazy, crazy eyes over there. I don't know this math girl. Hey, 
was right! What? What did Napoleon... What did Napoleon have invented? Okay, localization team. Come on, drop the ball here. Glass jars. Boop. Um, I think we're 8 for 8 so far. Thank you, chat, for two of those. Midterms, day five. Sounds like I'm keeping a diary. Midterms, day five. Supplies are running low. Um, not sure how much longer I'll last. Which season is the adjective brisk a kigo for? Fuck, no idea. Asking chat for help, again! I just, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get good grades. Because I have max knowledge, so if I if I answer all these correctly, I'll be like valedictorian or some shit. So, is it fall? Thank guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thanks guys. What is dragon's blood? Blood of a dragon. Plant resin. Hey! Ten out of ten. Thank you, chat. For three out of ten. Could have could have gotten a seven or eight. What? There's more! Oh, well we already know what one of them one of them is. Oh no, this is the knowledge part. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. That's right, it's because they are, because I'm a genius. Smartest person in school, too cool for school. Uh, it's finally over. Hey, about question eight. I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm ready to collapse any second now. I'm gonna head home. Oh, I do not miss pulling all-nighters. For school, I mean, every now and then I pull all nighters for YouTube, but that's just like, that's just me. That's just me wanting it, you know. It's not like I'm, you know, not like there are any consequences for it. See you later. So it's it's different. At last, the long midterms are finally over. Gotta wait until the criminal takes action, my ass. The long week of testing has finally ended. What will you do today? I don't know, man. I'm definitely gonna save, though. Boop. Okay. So let's see. We're about. Oh, we're we're like halfway through the stream. Hopefully we'll hopefully we'll, we'll get into a dungeon before the end. I'm not hanging out with you, sports dudes. Fuck off. Always wanting to hang out. Let's hang out. Sorry, you're pissed at me, I. Ooh, we can get her to rank 10. Yeah, sure. Let's do it, let's do it. Ah, you're gonna be so good in battle. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, um, well, if it's okay with you, I wanna go to your room. What the fuck? I forgot about this. <laughs> you wanna come to my room? You invited Yukiko here. So, this is your room. I guess so. What's with the bed? <sighs> I'm really confused. What's happening with the bed? Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to look around. What? You're not supposed to just come here and not look around. It's just that this is the first time I've been to a boy's room. Oh, you sleep on a futon, I see. I use a futon, Where's too. Where's the frame for the futon? <laughs> um, sorry. I don't know what to talk about. This was, this was your idea to come here. The futon good with you? The floor good with you? What are we discussing? Where's fine? <laughs> ah. uh, I'm fine with anything. Mm. You don't need to worry about me. Can't look. You decide to relax with Yukiko. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm still studying cooking and job licenses. 
I don't plan to leave anymore, but I thought I might as well. I just want to get you to rank 10. I, sooner. I just want I just want to max you. That's all. If I'd struck out on my own, I know I would have regretted it. I wanted to become completely self-sufficient. But I think I was being presumptuous. I have the inn, I have my family, I have the waitresses and chefs. Mm -hmm. I am who I am now because I was raised by such a kind group. When I think of it that way, my problems aren't just my own. That's why I'm going to stay here by my own way. Hey! <laughs> Good luck! You bastard, don't say that. Did you think it over? Condescending asshole, there's only one good response. What is happening? Yes! Yukiko's strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weakness has awakened her heart's true power! Yes! Oh, I'm so glad! Her persona evolved, basically. My new power? You're ruining it. The power you've shown to me. Power I will treasure. Okay. <laughs> so weird. I want you to have this. I obtained Shrine Charm. It's a charm from that shrine. To protect you. What does it actually do? You'll protect me. Just say thank you. I'm staying here. This charm will protect you in my place. Then we'll always be together. That's so sweet. Yukiko's voice is trembling. Um. <sighs> no, what? I love no, you. No, don't say it. No. <laughs> you can feel Yukiko's pure and simple love. Oh, no. I feel bad for simultaneously dating your best friend. But I had to get you to max. I guess, I guess you can do it without being in a relationship. I don't know. Oh, finally. Good, good, good. Well, you have mastered the Yukiko Amagi social link. Has forged a bud that cannot be broken. That's right. Even if you find out I'm dating Chie, you can't do shit. <laughs> what, what affected your... Yeah, what'd you get? What'd you get? Hey, I got a trophy! A true bond. You know, it's weird because... I don't remember getting these trophies on the Vita. Do I have a different account on here? I don't know. Evade Ice. Really? Let me look. Do I want to get rid of any of these? The one I would get rid of is Fire Boost. Like, Divine Grace is too good, man. I don't want to get a Vamrita, it's, it's too good. All these are too good, if you ask me. Ah, I just, I can't take it. It's just, it's not my style. It's not my style. I don't know, maybe Evade Ice is like super meta, but I just, I don't know. I don't read the fucking game facts and shit, <laughs> you know? Not game facts, but you know what I mean. Don't stare so much at me. Sorry. Whoa! <laughs> Can I say it again? Uh, don't say it again! No, you can't! No! Permission denied! I love you. Don't... Uh, you passed a long while with Yukiko. It has gotten dark, so you walked Yukiko to her house. Okay. All right! Good! What's happening? Nanako doesn't seem to be home. 
I'm home. Oh. Why do you scare me like that? Come on. Oh, welcome back. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. Okay. It's me, Nanako. I killed everyone. <laughs> Uh, that's what the letter says. Anyway, but the sender's name and address are nowhere to be found. There is only one sentence printed. Don't rescue anymore. Is it from a friend? Oh, my show is almost done. Don't rescue anymore. Who the fuck sent that? Could this be a warning from the killer? Or is it just a prank? Dude, take it to a uh, handwriting specialist. You should discuss this with the group tomorrow. And just get writing samples from everyone you know. It'll be super easy. Ooh. Writing in the death note. I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. Yes, it's much more peaceful than here. Who the hell was that? I actually don't know. <laughs> you showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue anymore. Like I said, my memory from this point on is pretty fuzzy. Is this a warning? No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. Ain't this just a prank? That's the kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? It's just a prank, bro. Did you show this to your uncle? Of course not! Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. He will ask why you received such a letter, and if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. Oh, I wasn't asking for spoilers. Sorry if that was confusing. It was a rhetorical question asking who that was. Please don't answer it. Thank you. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. Or hers. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. But how could the killer know so much about us? Could he be watching us from somewhere? Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? Someone would have mentioned it by now, I'm sure. I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. Thank you, Chie, for being the fucking voice of reason, always. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Why am I still holding the letter out like that? What is wrong with me? Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's Sorry. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Yeah. Guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do. 
right? Right. Um, Yosuke is right. I don't want to say that. This could come in handy. Yeah. That's right, Chie. On my side. You told the others we'll have to wait until the situation changes. All right. Mind if I change the subject then? Okay. The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon. But aren't they still gathering ideas? Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I'd bet my lunch on it. Hey, Senpai. Have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. <sighs> she just had to say something. <laughs> Uh, Chie. You're just the best! You have no leads, you have no choice but to wait until something occurs. Fine. Um. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Kanji, you wanna go ride motorcycles, huh? You heard it too? About that kid who got praised by a politician? Kind of a shocker that it was just a grade schooler, huh? I guess even this town's got some amazing kids. Ah, uh, but those are the ones that leave for the city at the first chance they get. Sucks. Alright, lazy student. Hi, Marie! Fuck. Marie is in low spirits. I don't know. I don't wanna... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's depressing, but bye. I just want to see what my options are for hanging out. Hi, kids. Hi. Uh, okay, there's Naoki. Not really that interested. Um, we could probably go hang out with Naoto as like a last resort. Oh. Hi. It's 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 just it's ah oh, man it's hard to catch Adachi. Okay, let me... But yeah, he, we need to level him up. Um... Where's Naoto? Risei's over here. We could level her up. Oh, senpai. Let's go play. Eh, we... It's been overdue. Sure. I do need to get on Nauto soon, and I need to go tutor, I think. <laughs> I place lots of special orders. Come with me next time when I go pick them up, senpai. I had tons of fun today. Not many people tried to come up and talk. Maybe they already forgot who I am. Yeah, people forget really quick. <laughs> oh yeah, I want some tofu to take home. I helped make them today. Wait right here. Excuse me, John-san, is it? What the fuck? Oh no. Um, sorry about the other day. It's the guy whose name I can't pronounce. Rise Kujikawa's former manager. Sorry to bother you, but could you give this to her? Handed you a letter. A fan letter came, you see. Why so interested in her? I'm one of her fans myself. Her talent is captivating. Right, her talent. Yeah, sure, okay. Risei always looked forward to this girl's letters, so I... In today's cult of personality, being popular carries its own problems. You know, I never thought about this before, but maybe I'm the objectifying one because I assume that he's interested in her based on her appearance. Hmm. Things to think about. <laughs> your schedule fits together, minute by minute, like a jigsaw puzzle. Every day you're squeezed utterly dry. But even knowing that, I still want her to come back. She was genuinely brilliant. 
Not only that, but she's strong enough to use her pain as a foundation. From what I could see, she's relying on you. So could you? I like barely know the girl! Sorry, senpai, but we're all sold out. Quit pestering me! Wait, what'd you say to senpai? I I'm sorry, I'm leaving now. Goodbye! Gee. Hounding me even after I quit. He's practically a stalker. To think I trusted him. I feel betrayed. You know, I actually... I feel like he might not be so bad, actually. I think we're giving him a tough rap. He's worried about you. No. He just wants Rosette back. The me he created. Risei is biting her lip. So what did he come for? Why do you always stand like that? You told Risei why he came and handed her the fan letter. Oh. This letter. She wrote again. I see. But he came all the way out here for this? This girl is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stamp out bullying. She said it inspired her. She wrote that she wouldn't let bullies get her down, that she'd try to make friends. Ever since then, she wrote me letters. This happened to me today. I was able to say this, stuff like that. Seeing Rosette work hard encourages me. It makes me feel like I can still hang in there. <laughs> she doesn't really know how it works, huh? But still, every time I read her letters, I felt like Rosette actually meant something. So whenever things got tough, I would read them over and over. Senpai, do you still have some free time? Nah, I'm busy. Damn it. <laughs> got roped into it. Tatsuhime Shrine. Rise seems to be deep in thought after reading the fan letter. Hmm. She's worried about me. Officially, I'm taking a break due to illness, so... Before I quit, there was talk about a part in a movie. She sounds like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she says. I'm so glad you were here. I was scared to read it alone. I gave up on being Rosette. I can't meet her expectations. Um... I'll just say this, I guess. I have no regrets. At least I think not. I mean, it was such a relief to quit, to go back to being the real me. Haha. <laughs> anyway, Rosette doesn't exist anymore. It's not just this girl. I disappointed lots of other people. The president of the company told me that over and over, and I knew it already. I knew this was the path I chose, but... Maybe I'll just inherit the tofu shop. I'm the shop's main attraction now. I bet I could make it thrive. Senpai. May we really... Maybe we should really just do it? You know, what I was saying a while back. Oh, okay. You could marry me once we graduate high school and the two of us could work at the tofu shop together. What the fuck? That's... That's your... That's your ultimate life plan? What if I want to be a YouTuber? I'm just kidding. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> How about it? Ha <laughs> ha. Sounds great. Huh? Senpai, you'll say that to just anyone, huh? It's dangerous to try to tell everyone what they want to hear. Too bad, though. Rosette wasn't fooled. Thank you, Senpai, for being with me all of today. You know, the sounds great could have been interpreted as a joke. I used to joke with girls about marrying them all the time when I was in high school. It was a joke. You can joke around about that. It's fun. I feel a bit better. Yeah, I'm fine. I can contribute something. And it looks like there are still plenty of things only I can do. You can sense Risei's quiet will. You feel that you understand Risei even more. Rank six, good. What'd you learn? What'd you learn? What'd you learn? 
She will now precisely identify an enemy's weakness. Thank God! Man, I should... I need to max her, like, right away. This is too good. I'll see you later, senpai. Oh! You're home! There we go. Nanako. You're not doing anything, huh? I mean, I'd love to, but... I'm sorry, Nanako. I'm gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> I feel like Rosette's... Sorry, Rosette's... I feel like Risei's social link situations are really... long. Adachi, you don't want to hang out this time? Why not? Oh. Oops. It's like I have to alternate between daytime and, and nighttime. Why would I hang out with you? I already maxed you. <laughs> hey. Hey. A very sudden request. Oh. You feel that you can't get any closer to Yukiko than you are now, but it may be nice to spend the evening with her. No. I'll see you later. Yeah. There's no there's no point. No point. I'm gonna go hang out with Nanako if uh there's what are you doing? Who are you? Your the man in black is looking at you as if appraising you. Do you know about luminol reactions? What part of the body do you use to test DNA? What the fuck? I'm a high school student. What's the best way to obtain someone's email address? What 10 things can you learn from footprints? The man is bombarding you with questions for some reason. With your unmatched knowledge, you answered every challenge smoothly and easily. I see, I see. You are quite an interesting young man. Do you know Naoto-sama? Oh, er, you know a detective by the name of Naoto Shiragane, correct? I do. Yes, I know you know him. Deliver this to him, he will understand. The man black handed you something. You received white card. What the fuck? This smells like a case. You should hand it over to Naoto. What? I've never, I've never done that before. Oh, Yosuke? Eh, go fuck yourself. You're not in my team. If you were Kanji, I would have hung out with you, but... Um... Alright, let's hang out, Nanako. Come on, come on, come on. There's no strategic benefit to maxing you, but... I feel like I should. I want you to be happy. She's always sad. <laughs> Whenever we hang out, I want her to be, I want her to be laughing when I come home. None of this um shit. You overhear students talking. The culture festival is going to be Saturday and Sunday next week. There's a rumor that one of the classes still hasn't decided what they're going to do. Yeah, that's pretty common. This is a generous girl. They'll argue about it forever, but in the end, they'll end up with something lame, like a rest area. Only one more week left to get ready. I need to get fired up, too. Yeah, man. Gotta get ready for uh, that, that culture festival. Time for homeroom. Well, as you all know, next week is the culture festival. All right, Teddy's voice actor. I recognize your voice. And as you also know, we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it. <sighs> you guys don't care, do you? <laughs> Maybe not. It just sounded like it. We are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. You sound like Nanako's voice actress. Here they are. Yeah, you sound a lot like, hmm. Break area, video room, and study room. Wow. Sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. Yep. Yeah, but the easier the better, right? Who is that? Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? Was it you, Chie? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? What's... A group date cafe. 
Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bunch. Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? Ah, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. What will you vote for? Study room? Really? Video room. Can watch streams. All right, time to count the votes. Uh, the first vote is group date cafe. Second vote, group date cafe. What? Huh? Seriously? It's gonna win. Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, group date cafe. Group date cafe, group date cafe, <laughs> study room, group date cafe. That means Chie voted for study room. Well, first place? What are we gonna do? Don't ask me! This is your fault! <laughs> I do wonder though, do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. <laughs> you voted for it! What? How am I supposed to feel about that as your boyfriend? Do you want to go on a date with me and Chie? Is that what you're saying? What the? You voted for it? <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. But Yosuke's the one behind it! Hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? <laughs> can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. So it's it's not Teddy's voice actor. I can hear it now. I just, that first sentence that he uttered, I thought it was him. Actually, would the teachers be okay with That's this? That's definitely Nanako. Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? They, they love to reuse voice actors. Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. Group date cafe? Are we going to get any customers with this? You fuckers voted for it! Seriously, what is a group date cafe? I voted for it and I didn't Oh my know. god. Gosh, how the heck's this gonna You all should out? be stripped of your right to vote. None of you deserve it. Classes have ended for today. Alright. Um let's check the social links. Ooh, look at that. I got a nice little sparkly doodad next to Yukiko's. Poor Margaret. You'll never get past rank one. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, no, but seriously. Um, Kanji, I need to get him up. He's far too low because he's in my permanent team rotation. Um, Although we do need to establish one with Naoto. And I have that white card or whatever, so better time than ever. We should max Chie when we can, I guess. There's really no point to it, because we don't really use her in battle. So the Evolved Persona is not really going to be that, you know, important. I uh, don't care about the Fox or the fellow athletes, to be honest. Don't really care about Saki's brother. I don't know why it doesn't say Naoki. It, it, that's his name. Um, let's see. These are all kind of timed. Don't really care about Eyes. Social Link. This is an event. Teddy's is... Um, I want to get a Dachi higher than rank 4 for sure. Marie, I'll do if I have time. Okay. So I was just getting organized in my head, you know. Over uh, what I want to prioritize. Because we're not going to max everybody. It's just there's not enough time. And I've been... I've, I've fucked around too much and it made too many mistakes. So. Naoto. Ooh. Thank you for saving me. 
I apologize, but I have something I want to think about. You didn't have the courage! I need to max my courage? I need to max my courage, huh? But I'm daring! Ah, oh, for some reason I thought you had to have max knowledge to talk to Naoto. But you have to have max courage. Okay, okay. I got it. Um, well, we'll try to get that up. I'll work at the uh, hospital or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um... What's, uh... Yeah, hi, Naoto. Hi. Staring at me awfully hard. Got a Zelda face right there. I think I brought that up last stream. So what other ways can I raise my courage other than working at the hospital and doing the uh, ramen when it's raining? It's raining! Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's what I get for not checking. To be fair, if I was playing on my own, um, I would have, like, I would have gone and checked, but, like, I don't want to double-check everything while I'm streaming with you guys. Yeah, why not? We'll spend some time there. Who cares? I already know what three stats I'm going to get from this. Understanding... Um, courage. Right, yep, thank you, and diligence. Blah, blah, blah. Do it, please. Oh, my understanding was maxed! What the hell? Awesome. Hi, Mozart. <laughs> Welcome back, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, we can level up Nanako. Or I can go max up my courage. So, it's not even a contest. Sorry. Sorry, Nanako. Let's see. Wait. Oh. You can only work at the hospital Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays! Oh, I think I can do it at the bar, though, too, right? I can I can go to the bar and, and raise my courage. Work. Sure. I don't care. Right, my diligence went up. Now I gotta listen to a story. Right, right, right. Seemingly brave old man's. Courage has increased. Interesting. Ooh, I got I got some bonus money too. Now, th this is not the optimal way to play. <laughs> Ideally, like if I knew what I was doing, I would have my courage maxed by- I would have all stats maxed by now. There's like a- there's an optimal path to take, but I just- I can't be arsed, you know? What? Who's calling me? Oh, hello? It's me. Oh, hi, girlfriend. Whatever. Would I mind hanging out with you today? Mmm. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Need to- need to level you up anyway. Well, we're hanging out in my room. What? What? She ain't begged to see it after training, so she so you brought her here. What? Hmm. So this is your room. So you're a lot more casual than Yukiko was. It's pretty clean. Trying to keep the place tidy for when you move out. Oh. Oh well. How did the room you had back home look? It was. It was cleaner. It was messier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, that makes me feel better. Good. 
pick the best choice. Everyone's covered with posters and stuff. It's a complete mess. Been there. <laughs> oh, um... I'm sorry to barge in like this. She seems to be panicking for some reason. Well, see, there's something I want you to hear. Only No, you... don't say it. Um... No, don't say it! Don't do it! I still don't have a clue what my good points are. Oh, okay. But I thought I could just keep on searching. I was thinking maybe both of us together? You're on your own. Oh, don't say that. Yeah. So, here. From me to you. I got wristbands. I got wristbands. <laughs> oh, and it's new, so it's uh, clean. Oh, good. It makes a matching pair with mine. <laughs> Listen, Chie. I've tried to do this before. I've tried to do the matching wristband thing. People just throw it away. Don't. I'm not this going power to. Of mine is what I wanted all along. Because I'm not an asshole. But people do that. Don't try. Don't give people ra matching wristbands. They don't respect it. The power to protect everyone. I understand now. I'm not supposed to use it to become more self-reliant. I'm supposed to use this power to protect people. Yukiko. My friends, my family, this town, and you. What? She's gonna evolve! Ooh, so cool! Hey, Tomoe has uh, transfigured into Suzuka Gongen? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, of course. Got like a Darth Maul lightsaber there. Sweet. My new power. Yep. I have you to thank for this. Hell yeah, you do. I love you. Ah, don't say that. All right. Max down another social link. What's up? What's up? I did it. Two in one stream. How about that? Alright, I can't, uh, can't skip this. I have mastered the Chie Satsunaka social link. Awesome. You can now fuse Futsunushi, the divine sword. Oh, cool! I didn't know, I didn't know, I guess I missed that with, um, Yukiko's persona. You can, like, Fuse the ultimate persona of their arcana or whatever. Evade fire. Okay, here's the thing. She's got a bunch of shit moves, so I'm gonna get rid of some of them. Cause she's only level 34. Like she's, she's way low. Let's get rid of assault dive. Bye bye. Sure, take evade fire. That's good. She is fidgeting. What should you do? Hug her, you asshole. Come on. I just got done with training. Yeah, you're all sweaty, I get it. I am I'm still all It doesn't sweaty. matter. Girls, if if your boyfriend ever wants to hug you and you're sweaty, just let him do it. Wait, the, the, oh, that's not what I meant. What am I saying? Don't worry about it. So idiot. So cute. So sundere. <laughs> Calling me an idiot. Okay. Did I use that correctly? Sundere? Did I use the anime terms correctly? You're back. I am back. Fuck you. Alright, so it's Sunday. I really want to establish a social link with Naoto. So, I'm wondering if I go work again? Or do I hang out with Dojima? Because I can't...
we'll spend time with Dojima. Yeah. I mean, if, if there's two non-party social links I'm interested in maxing, it's Dojima and Nanako, so... There you go. Hello. Hi, hello. I don't have the courage to talk to you. I heard from Risei san that it was that it seems nearly everyone earned their scooter licenses over the summer. You may be interested to know that I acquired mine around the same time. Quite a coincidence, isn't it? It's almost like we did it on purpose for the game. Why did you get yours? A detective often needs to be in many places at once. I thought it would be useful as a means of transportation. I'm a confident cyclist. Should the opportunity arise, I'd be happy to show you how I handle a bike. Okay. Thanks, Naoto. See you later. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Ooh, everyone's gonna be so impressed. Yeah, no one's gonna be impressed with yours, Yosuke, because you're a dumbass. Fuck you! Oh well, wanna check it out? Use that to check the test results. Sure, let's all laugh at Yosuke. Idiot. <laughs> uh. Out my way, Daisuke. Get out of here. Go play some sports. You got the highest score! What? Oh! Thank you, chat, for helping me. I have so many people to thank. My family, my friends, chat. Whoa, you're a genius, John. I know, that's awesome. I'm just as happy as if I'd gotten the highest grade myself. That is a load of shit, but hey, whatever. Your social link friends seem to be looking at you admiringly. Ooh, you feel that you became closer to your school friends. Lunch break is almost over. You decide to return to class. All right, so, Basically, everybody from school should be like ready to. Ooh, I got a trophy, head of the class. Ready to level up. Not that it really matters. No leads, which is fine. We're just waiting for something to happen, I guess. Oh, Yosuke wants to hang out. Ooh, that's nice. Um, let's go to. We really need to get Kanji leveled up. Where are you, buddy? Come on, buddy! You not here? Are you in town? Where you at, Kanji? Oh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to ride with you. Ah! Seriously. I feel like I find him. Wanting to ride on the motorcycles way too often. Oh. Hi. Yeah, sure. And yeah, let's hang out with Adachi. <laughs> Get you to at least rank five. All right, why do we go shopping? I don't understand. Weird. <laughs> I'd never go shopping with like anybody, any acquaintance, really. That's that's an odd thing to do. Maybe it's different in Japan. That said, you got the best score in the school on your tests. That's incredible. Aw, she made me a bead ring. Thanks, Nanako. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, let's uh, yeah, let's hang out. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, you know the photo you found before? Yes. I give it back to Dad. You attacked and smiled at me. Big bro, I love my dad. Mm hmm. He loves you too. Don't say what about me. <laughs> I think so too. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. He smiled at me and said, You remember too? Dad loves mom. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. He still has you. I feel sorry for you too. Fuck off. Wow. Some of these some of these options are terrible if you ask me. Yeah. I won't go anywhere. That's a spirit. I'm glad to be dad's daughter. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> 
Hey, that's a happy rank up. Good to, good to know. Thank you. It's your turn to talk. What? It's just about Nanako's bedtime. Oh, let's talk to Nanako. She deserved to have to have to have a nice chat. I don't know. Yay! See, she's happy. You decided to talk for just a little while longer. Yeah, good. Oh no, it's it's storming. <laughs> what, Naoto? Good morning. Hi. I, I, I don't have the courage to talk to you. Again. This rain, I don't like it. No one has turned up missing yet, but it still makes me uneasy. Yo! Sorry to barge in. Yosuke forced himself under your umbrella! <laughs> but make room for me, too. This one's already full, dumbass. Ooh, Kanji, you gotta get under Naoto's. Get Naoto to make room under hers. It's quite all right. By all means, Kanji kun, you'll catch a cold at this rate if you don't. What? Me and her under the same umbrella? <laughs> to hell with that! If I did that, um, it'd mean we'd practically be like a couple. And that's a problem because, dude, how old are you? Shut up! Come on, let's trade spots. <laughs> you know how stupid that sounds, right? Well, that's fine with me. Now, tell mind if I walk with you? Hey! Who are you calling stupid? Stop talking to shit about me. Uh, will you just make up your mind? Excuse me. Um, I don't mind making room for whoever. Huh? <laughs> A third choice, eh? Not what I expected, but I have no objections. That's right, you don't. Urgh, damn it! I don't need an umbrella and a damn drizzle like this. I'll show you all how it's done. K Kanji kun. Sheesh, that idiot's gonna make himself sick. Oh crap, we're gonna be late if we keep this nonsense up. Let's hurry it up. Alright, Yosuke's no nonsense apparently. Too bad I have to Too bad I have to guard him from the rain on the way there. Because you have no leads, you have no choice. Right, yeah. Okay, let's see, um... So it's, it's raining, so like, no one's gonna wanna hang out except Ayane. Which like, I mean, nothing against Ayane, we just have bigger priorities. Bigger fish to fry, if you know what I mean. Can't believe, so can't talk to Naoto. Kanji? Let's go to, um... Actually, my understanding is maxed. I think I can apply to be a tutor now. Not really sure what I gain from it. I can, right? Um, let's see. Tutor. Yeah, high understanding. Boost your expression. Meh. Sure. You feel that your understanding is sufficient for this job. Yeah, because it's maxed. You have taken the tutoring job. Leave from the bus stop in the shopping district on Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday night. Hey, it gives me something to do on Saturday night. Good. It's, uh, it's been a while. Good thing that we did that. Alright. Let's do this. Let's do the beef bowl. Okay, go, go, go. Do we raise our courage twice now? Knowledge is increased. I have max knowledge. I guess it can't give you two in one stat. That's too bad. Man. Mm, that sucks. You're back. So you're home. Hmm tutor today? No! 
No way. I heard you got top marks on your exams. Keeping up your studies while taking care of Nanako, too. You're one hard worker, aren't you? I need to act like an uncle every so often and give you some spending money. Here you go, a big tip. But don't spend it all in. Nah, you can use it however you like. 50,000 yen? Whoa! Hey. Won't become closer yet. Are you serious? Night. Damn. I'm not gonna buy anything from the home shopping program. Um. So this is for diligence, this is for expression, and this is for understanding. Max my courage. Knowledge expression, diligence, understanding. Can't read this again, can I? Damn. The one book that raises our courage. That's all right. Shopping district. No one's here. Maybe we can go, actually, maybe we can go tutor. Why not? It'd be good to get some points in tower while I can. I'll do it. Why not? The alternative is going to the bar to raise my courage. Let's go tutor. Yeah. Let's go tutor this little shit. I'm Shu Nakajima. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, he's just a shy boy, but he's so smart, you know. He got the highest score in his class on his last test. Hey, something in common. And the teacher... Mom! E enough of that. We're going to study now, so get out. Oh, of course, dear. I don't want to bother you while you're learning. But still, John kun was it? I hear Yasugami High's scores are starting to climb up there. Shu's already in his second year of middle school, so we need to start thinking of applying to high schools. Well, knowing him, I'm not worried about getting into a good school, but when it's time for college... Mom, that's enough, I said! Oh my, I guess you're right. Well then, John kun please make sure you teach him well. Study hard, Shu-chan, okay? John San, right? Oh, sorry. John San, right? Let me tell you up front. I have no intention of attending Yasugami High. The cram school I was going to wasn't that good, so I decided I needed to switch to private tutoring. You were the only one available, so. If I think you're inadequate, I'll have you replaced immediately. Remember that. Wow, little shit. You are a little shit. Wow, you're a little prick. I'm used to hearing that. Then, what should we start with? I don't have any subjects that I'm particularly bad at. You feel confident that you should teach him. Math. <laughs> P.E. <laughs> Math. That's fine. Okay, good. He grasps concepts quickly. He answers the problems you have for him in no time at all. You worked hard in explaining the subject to him in an easy to understand manner. Oh, good, my expression, my maxed expression has increased. Good, this would be great if I had points available. You were a good tutor. It was easy for me to understand what you were talking about. Oh, okay. I'm sure my natural intelligence has something to do with that as well, of course. Do you comment on YouTube videos? Because you sound familiar. I feel like I've read your comments before on many of my playthroughs. You're more than welcome to come again whenever you have the time. I'll keep working at my own pace as well, which is breakneck pace, of course. So, uh, please come teach me again. You are accepted as a new tutor. You become acquaintances with Shu Nakajima, the snooty tutoring pu pupil. Hey! Good, good, good.
man. Yeah, we got Mr. Mensa over here. Shit. I was one of those Mensa guys too, but I don't think I ever Hi. thought I was as smart as these fuckers seem to think they are. Hey, 10,000 yen, that pays pretty well. Hey. Oh no, I'm caught. The culture festival is just around the corner. Let's all do our best to prepare for it. Okay. Our class was late on deciding what to do, and Miss Kashiwagi has been very busy, right? So we need to pick up the slack and make sure we do a good job. Alright, thanks for the lecture. Oh, I'm not interested in the blind date part, understand? I I'm not, okay? Well, what happened to loving me? I, I, I would think that you wouldn't be, but okay. Today, I'll talk about the history of food. It'll be a nice change. Among food history, one of the most interesting is the history of French cuisine. Now, French cuisine is representative of European food, but it actually stems from Italian food. A noble Italian girl married the French king in the 16th century, and that's when it crossed over, among other things. Like the fork. I can't imagine eating some things without a fork today. It's sad, uh, sorry, it's said that before the fork was introduced, everyone in France ate with their hands or just a knife. So modern French cuisine, with its strict manners now, has its roots in Italian cuisine. How about that? Wasn't it interesting to see world history through the lens of food? You listen to the lecture intently. Hey, my max knowledge increased. Great. Uh... What? Who wants to hang out? Kanji, yes! Yo. Yes, perfect! Why can't I say yes? I want to just say yes. Let's reserve the time now. No, fuck off. No. Bye, Daisuke. See you later. Fuck you. No, I'm not hanging out with you. We're not playing sports ball together. I don't want to do it. Okay. Kanji. You're in the practice building, aren't you? I don't know why I exited the room. I always do that. I always do that. Hey! Yeah, yeah let's do it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get this place out of my head. I keep wondering if that rabbit the kid tossed out might have washed ashore around here. If he finds it now, he'll just feel bad. Not that I'm wading in today or anything. Hey, mister. There you are, doll boy. Wow. Sana-chan was really happy. I've been looking for you ever since. Look, kid. Quit calling. Ah, forget it. Can you make some more, mister? My mom really wants one. Sana-chan's mom does too. They said they'll pay you. Huh? Pay me? I don't need that. It, it ain't like that. I, I'm a pro at this. My mom wants a cat, and Sanchan's mom wants a dog. My teacher wants a pink alligator. A pink alligator? Oh, like the one in that storybook, huh? Fine then. I'll get around to it sometime. Yay, thank you. Remember, you promised. Sheesh, man. <sighs> Strange situation I got myself into, ain't it? It's good for you. Good? I don't really know. Kanji is tilting his head. When I was in elementary school, I fixed a classmate's bag this one time. Thinking back, I guess I liked her. I only did it to make her happy, but the next day, all the girls were making fun of her. She cried. I didn't understand why, but you know, I thought I'd done something wrong. So I never thought I'd be thanked for doing this stuff. Haha. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> Here and thank you. I like it. Kanji is laughing sheepishly. I feel you understand him better. That's right. Let's get that level up. Six? Alright.
Did you learn something new? Hmm? Learn something new? What'd you learn? You learned power charged. Okay. Do I really need Dizzy Boost? I feel like I don't. Let's get rid of Dizzy Boost. I'd rather have Power Charge. Sure. Oh, well I got a jet. I have to go back to Okina Station. To the uh, f fabric shop. I'm out of materials, so. Well, later. I'll see you later, Kanji. You watched him go and went home. Okay. Welcome back. Thanks. I can work. Ugh, sorry, Nanako, but I gotta go. I gotta go. Get that courage up. We're missing out on key Nauto time. Or we can level up Adachi. Oh. Want me to tutor you? Yeah, sure. Have a dodgy to you. Did that completely fly over your head? I forgot everything I learned in high school. Uh, oh, but you did invite me over for dinner that one time. Fine, but just today, all right. You head to the Ojima residence with a dachi. Uh, you guys studying? Wait, no. I don't even want to look at yours. Too complicated looking. Though maybe I could help with Nanako-chan's. <gasps> really? You would? I have some homework. A book review. Oh, those. They're really easy if you know what to do. You don't have to read the whole thing. Just read the notes in the back and then summarize those. I don't? But my teacher said read it and write what you think. Don't worry about that. We have to be efficient here. She won't learn anything that way. Really? You're so uptight. Life is too short to do everything by the book. Adachi is smiling half-heartedly. Come on, Nanako-chan, bring your book. I mean, it's how I did things, but... It wasn't a review. I just have to read it, and then get a mark from a grown-up saying I did. Oh, okay, that's easy enough. Though, a mark? Dojima-san's gonna be late today. Will you give me one, Adachi-san? Me? Okay, if you're good, I'll draw you a big flower. I want one. <laughs> All right, then get started. Once, in a deep, deep forest near a small, small river, there lived a pink alligator. Nanako is reading intently. And so no one remembered the pink alligator. This is the second time a pink alligator has come up in the last five minutes. It's weirded me out. Even today, the lake is shining the way it always did. The end. Hmm? Oh, you're done? Do I get a big flower? Yeah, sure, I'll give you one. Yay! A flower! What about you? Don't you have anything you want me to draw a flower on? Nope, nothing. You're no fun. Are you really related to Nanako-chan? Never mind. You look mature, but you're still in high school, you know. I'm not saying it should be me, but if something happens, you shouldn't hesitate to bring it to a grown-up. You can tell that Adachi worries about you. You feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Rank five. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. Mind if I take a little nap? That old lady brought me some photos of potential matches. <laughs> she kept insisting I see these girls because they're nice. I had to do overtime because of it. Like I'll ever get married. You don't want to get married? Marriage is where fun goes to die. Wow. You'll understand in about 20 years, Nanako-chan. Come to think of it, Dojima-san will be father-in-law to whoever Nanako-chan decides to marry. Yeesh, that's certainly going to put a damper on her chances. Don't talk about this in front of her! You clown! What do you mean? Really? There's just no way. Sorry, Nanako-chan. No. I don't want to get married either. I don't like people with holes in their socks. What? I don't have holes in my socks. You did, the other day. Okay. Well, see you later.
<sighs> Yo! Yo! God, go away! Hey, what kind of event did the classes at your old school do during Culture Festival? The schools here in Inaba has a bunch of different events for our Culture Festival. I guess this is one of the few school events that everybody actually looks forward to. I'm looking forward to it. I know, right? I hope it gets really interesting, especially for some events in particular. Let me guess what they are. Oh, okay. I, he didn't elaborate. I'm sure they involve girls dressing up in something. What are we looking at? There's a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasugami High Pageant. It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the culture festival. Ugh, on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? What? So that's why she agreed to plan this event. The name Noriko Kashiwagi is indeed on the entry list. The other contestants are... You see a list of familiar names. Yukiko, Chie, Risei, Naoto, Hanako. It's a surprising lineup. Naoto? Naoto entered? One, two... Wow, there's a lot of signups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Risei Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. Yeah. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. Yukiko fan? If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Rosette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Wow, golly. Go home and play World of Warcraft, you nerd. Huh? Rosette's entering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my time. My god, just talking publicly about this, I see. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. Uh, <laughs> what? Naoto's fan is the creepiest one of all! Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But, to be honest, I think she's cute, too. <laughs> what the hell is with the little giggle at the end? It seems that each girl already has fans. Yo. Yo. Are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming, too. Oh, okay. Let's just invite everybody. Did something happen? Really curious. We are getting to the end of the stream. Just a little, like, ten minute warning. You better have a damn good explanation for this! For what? Oh, I know for what. The beauty pageant! You wrote down our names without telling us, didn't you? No, it wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out! Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. So it was you! Oh, crap! <laughs> hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. Sass. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? Nice try. So where do I fit oh. in? <laughs> oh. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? I, I, I didn't say nothing. 
What about you? You want them to be in it, right? <laughs> I'll say, of course I do. I'll be boring. Ah, oh, I thought you might be a little jealous, not wanting me to show off to other guys. But I guess you're not that uptight. What? Why are you talking? Why are you telling me that? Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. That's right. That's the way to go. Teddy's looking forward to it, too. Of course he is. Where is he, by the way? Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. <gasps> so Ted's behind this, too. We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. Well, it's the first time she's talked. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. I don't think it's a problem at all. I mean, just do it, you know? Seriously. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. <laughs> he begs if her! You do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on, make me a man! Oh my god. Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? <laughs> you okay there, bud? Wow. It's a deep psychological issue. The preparations for the culture festival in two days are going well. Oh, we're just gonna... We're back. We're just gonna I'm skip, so huh? Tired. Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Mm, stuff it, dude. Is this about the group date cafe? There's some things I want to go over, but... Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? <laughs> it was your proposal, right? Uh-huh. Are you serious? Yep, responsibility. Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table. Conduct the short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear ya. <laughs> <laughs> I zoned out while he was talking. If you roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? What? If you roll up a piece of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yes, it will, because you're rolling it up. Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Oh, fuck. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, wanna be the batter? Why is he so aggressive? Hey, Yosuke! <sighs> ah, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back into your face. That's not how you play. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. The group date cafe that your class will be running at the culture festival is getting underway. Oh, good. Right, you're just gonna, you're just gonna, gonna keep moving me along, huh? Welcome back. All right, thanks, Dojima. I can work as a tutor today, or I can just decide to go to sleep. I can also work as a janitor. Okay, so Dojima wants to hang out, but I mean, we can't, can't level him up yet. So, like, what's the point? Um, let's see. That's uh, about 8.53. Uh, 
culture festival is coming up, and that's going to be like a big event. So I'm going to save that for next week's stream. Made some good progress in this one, though. Sorry, no dungeon yet. Apparently, there's a huge stretch in October. Uh, I think we played from like October 7th through the 27th today. I guess it's only three weeks, but I don't know. Uh, no dungeons so far. Uh, probably going to be a dungeon next stream. I'm guessing. I don't remember. It just just judging from the pacing, we've gone uh, about two streams since the last dungeon. So anyway, but um, yeah. Thanks for coming. Uh, really appreciate it. And let's give a big hand to the mods today. Uh, Mozart, Dis, Psycho. Thank you guys for modding. Uh, notice, notice some chaos erupts a couple times. So everybody, give it up. And we'll continue this with uh, stream number 19 next Tuesday at the same time. Same time right now. Except three hours earlier. And on Saturday, uh, we're going to do the multiplayer stream. Ooh, I should also mention, actually. Mention some exclusive news. On Thursday, if you're interested in the game Orcs Must Die Unchained, I'm going to be on the... Orcs Must Die stream on Thursday night that the developers put on. Um, at least that's what's planned. So there'll be more details closer to the actual time. But uh, yeah, it'll be fun. We'll be playing Orcs Must Die, I think. I assume. The, the new game. And uh, yeah, so you guys should come out on Thursday night. Around this time, I think. A little bit earlier. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for coming. Have a good week. Bye!